Quick wash on your washing machine. What is it? When do we use it? When do we not use it? And how do we use it? Today I'm going to answer all these questions. First of all, quick wash is a very fast uh, <laughs> setting as the name implies. Usually lasts between 15 and 30 minutes. It uses generally cold water and because of this short amount of time it also uses a lot less water. You don't need to use a lot of uh, cleaning products in it and it saves a lot on electricity. So yeah, generally I would consider this a pretty uh, economic setting to use in the right circumstances, of course. So which clothes should you use this on and what's the appropriate settings to accompany this? Well, I would say you should generally use this on only slightly dirty clothes. This isn't really something you want to use on your really, really dirty clothes. Uh, also, as far as temperature goes, I would say between cold water and up to about, let's say, 30 degrees or 90 Fahrenheit. So as you probably gathered from this, this means that you shouldn't really use this on really dirty clothes. This is mostly for let's say fresh up some clothes or clean up some lightly stained clothes sir. So since quick wash is generally not used on really stained clothes, you can keep the temperature on it pretty low. I usually go with a standard one, which is about 30 degrees Celsius on my washer. Cold water is also fine if that's possible. It wouldn't really be appropriate to do very hot wash on your quick wash since uh, hot water is generally used to remove stains. And since this cycle is so short, it doesn't really lend itself to clean out a lot of stains. It's a lot better to use an other program if you have really stained clothes. I will say though that in the winter, it may take a little longer to actually do the quick wash since then your washer may need to heat up the water a little bit to the appropriate temperature. So like I started with in the beginning of the video, lightly soiled clothes is quick wash's best friend or vice versa, I guess. Uh, the reason is that what you can do if you have stained clothes and you really need to use the quick wash, perhaps along with some other clothes, is that you pre-treat the clothes. I did video on that in the past, but I'll link it up here if you want to see that. Uh, in that case, you could toss it into a quick wash cycle after you have uh, pre-treated a stain. Another circumstance you may find yourself in is if you have clothes in storage, taking, for example, winter clothes out of storage and putting summer clothes into storage, and you feel like your winter clothes smells kind of musty or you just want to freshen them up a little before you start wearing them, tossing them into a quick wash can be a really good option for you, since this is such a nice and quick, gentle cycle to use. Now. If you only have a couple of clothes, that's also a great instance where you can use quick wash. For example, say you only have a, like a t-shirt and a, a pair of socks and something, you know, something small. Uh, my washer only takes 1.5 kilos with quick wash though, so that's one thing to keep in mind. Generally small loads uh, and quick wash goes well together. And just clothes that you generally need to wash fast. Say you have a favorite t-shirt that you want to toss on, um, it would be a lot better to just throw it in a quick wash, have it ready instead of using a full program. That could be a waste of both energy and time for you. So what I would recommend is that you don't load your washing machine to over 40% of the regular load you put into it. Uh, since it is a short cycle, like a I've said so many times now and if you put a lot of clothes into a short cycle what's going to happen is that they're not going to get entirely cleaned. Also I would consider cutting down significantly on the detergent you put into quick wash. I think about half of what you use on a regular wash should be perfect. Now you can adjust this a little bit up uh, over time if you find that Ah, uh, you know what? I wish there were, for example, there is a tiny little stain left for example and uh, I didn't get that stain out. Well, perhaps next time put a little bit more detergent in the quick wash and see how it turns out. Now you need to be a little bit careful with adding more and more detergent because what could happen in the end is that you actually get uh, stains of detergent on your shirts, clothes. Um, this is also one thing to keep in mind for people with very sensitive skin. Quick wash is probably not appropriate setting for you. You should probably go with something like delicate or throw an extra rinse at the end uh, of another cycle uh, that's short. Because the thing is quick wash, it's, since it is so short, it doesn't really have a lot of time to rinse, hence the low amount of detergent recommendation for me. It also doesn't have a lot of time to agitate. So like thick clothes, like say, um, for example, wool, which retains a lot of water, probably not the best to do in quick wash. Also, I'd say really thick garments, you know, workwear, for example, uh, work pants, you know, not if you're working in an office, then go for it. <laughs> but if you work outside or you work with physical manual labor, then uh, quick wash is probably not appropriate there either. And you know, stained clothes, just skip over it with the quick wash. You definitely need to pre-treat them if you want to do quick wash with stained clothes. Another thing I wanted to note here on stain removal, you probably want to avoid enzyme-based detergent in the quick wash since it doesn't 
uh, rinse as well as some of the longer cycles you may find that there is some residue left of uh, detergent if you go that route so you can imagine it's not the best also since this is a pretty cold wash i would definitely avoid washing you know stuff that has a lot of bacteria on it like uh, underwear if you work in sanitation or something baby clothes it's not going to kill all the bacteria so perhaps look for another cycle instead if you like this video i'm going to do a lot more on these uh, cycles and uh, washing machines in general i'm going to link a video here if you want to see how to take your clothes out of storage like i said and here's a big playlist on how to use your washing machine hope you liked the video and i'll see you in the next one